Hey there and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock 2. It's been a little while, we've had holidays and Christmas for those who celebrate it, and generally speaking a, a good merry time, regardless of what one did on the day, whether they celebrated a particular holiday or not. Um, I hope everyone did have a good time, that is. So, picking up where we left off, it's been a little while and I don't actually remember, but I will be ever so grateful to see a map when I hit my tab key. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah. The significance of that is I've been playing through... Where is it? There we are, playing through Legend of Grimrock 1. Um, I got, uh, got myself the Steam version of that. Uh, purely because I've already played the crap out of the first one, purely so that I can chip away at the achievements in the, in the Steam version. I'm hopeless, I'm pathetic, don't judge me. I already judge myself. Um, so yeah, I picked it up for the Steam achievements, and one of said achievements is to play through um, hard, another one is to play through with old school mode, um, which are both things that I have in mind for this as well in due course. Can I use the attack there? Go. That was underwhelming. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing through that, but it's old school mode. No map. Seems generally slower paced compared to the, the first game. I have played a lot of it. Oh, that's an imposing structure. Sea Island, Twig Root Forest, Kilbreach Bog. And of course, the drink. Now, it would appear that this is an infinite food source. Oh, hello there. Let's not. Let's just not. So yeah, playing through with the... Uh, with a new party, I've got the, the twin mages raining down the fiery, icy death magic. It's a lot of fun. Certainly it feels quite overpowered compared to the, the party I had for the Let's Play. Um, the plan is, once I've done that and I've unlocked Torum mode again, uh, I'll, I'll do another Let's Play in the next year or so probably in the next year or so, um, playing through as Torum, which should be interesting slash painful. <laughs> Speaking of which, Shrine of Pain. Right, uh, quick save. Right, yeah, this is going to be a short trip. And we survived it. And we're going to rest and get our health back. That's enough. We don't want to be too healthy. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope my trap only broke a few bones and you are still able to proceed on your heroic journey. Screw you. There's a chest there. That's a new chest there. That definitely would seem to be a new chest. How can we get to that? Quick save for a start. Ah! And of course it's locked, and of course we don't have any lockpicks. I suppose the gold key opens it. No. Okay, well. Now we know, we'll put an exclamation point there. And our mushrooms are procreating. Then we shall sleep again. Get back to that health. Now people are hungry. Who's hungry? Moo is hungry. Mr. Blackwell is not. Lyra is. What's along here? Hello! Is 
that a fireball? No. Just die. Can I use... No. And some of the combinations have changed and it's... Not fair, damn it. Come on. Thank you, get my stuff back. Grab the mushroom. Ah, trollolol. Okay. A letter and a map. Dear visitor, please find attached the map of the island. Blah. Please find the attached map of the island useful. I'd like to point out a few key locations to get you accustomed to your new home. Although I'm afraid your stay on the island will be will be brief. My pets are awfully hungry as always. If you glance north, you should see the Great Pyramid of Umas above the treetops, and in west you can find the ruins of Desarun, a huge dungeon I pu I've repurposed just for you. Beyond Desarun, there are even older places, but you don't need to concern yourselves with them because the challenges ahead will be way over your head. Finally, in the east you can find the burial grounds where some very interesting characters are buried. It's up to you to, do, to decide which one of these locations will be your grave. we got a map. Wow, that's really not as enlightening as I had hoped. Ah, uh, where can we stick you that's not too distasteful? we have a scroll bag? No. No, we've got plenty of food receptacles though. Here we go, we'll put these in here. That'll do. Right. Okay. Well, we've got more water, but I can't see a, a ladder. I see a gun. Oh, I know, I know this. Um, I'm quick saving because... When I first did that, that scared the shit out of me. You're probably still gonna get me, actually. Oh, let's take out this guy. I've been doing this wrong. I do like that ice shard spell. Put that rifle in there. But now it looks like we're on our own. Oh well, we're leveling. And killing shit is just as satisfying here. Now can we cast light? No, that still isn't light. Um, who's got a torch? There we go. He has a smoldering torch. We don't want the smoldering torch. We want a good one. We'll stick the smoldering torch somewhere that it can be of use for, for the rest of time. Kind of wishing I hadn't um, stalled there either. Oh, really? I lost the blowpipe thing all the way out there. Oh, in we go. Oh, crap. It's not there. Or not. Is 
is he going to come out? Yep. Gonna stick your nose out, you jerk. Yeah, I can see you. Hello. Good little fishy. Can I teleport back in there? Oh, we can. It's a nice little safe room, actually, for while we level. Uh, let's see. Stats. One more point in two. I still haven't looked up these. Uh, so we're going to save her point. Because fuck me, I'm terrible at looking shit up. Um, you're an easy one we want for you. Honestly, I don't know. Blackwell, Battle Mage. Uh, fire. I think we definitely want fire. Um, what about armor? I'm left with the distinct impression that he should be able to wear armor. But I'm not going to use any of these spells, and I am going to look... I said this last episode, too. I am going to look up just what they can do uh, between this episode and next, but I will actually do that. Mind and matter. Uh, puzzle. Yeah. But yeah, when I first picked up that rifle, that puzzle scared the shit out of me. Archibus. Fair enough. Requires firearms three. Well, there is presently very little prospect of me investing in the firearms skill given the potentially finite nature of the ammunition source. We have a rock. Um, and this one we do this. And then we have a bridge. As a weed, just basically reskin milk reed, milk weed. I think I've already said that. Fruit and a dungeon. I like dungeons. It got dark very quickly. Now I'm not going to commit to this area just yet because I have a memory of there being one more chest in the in the twig root forest. Let's just quickly head back. Looks like we've explored everything though. At least everything that we can explore for the moment. Uh, no, we should be able to explore over there still. So. Not there. Don't want to go down that. Oh boy. The map is something that we take for granted in this day and age. It really, really is. Basically, straight ahead. And to the left. And straight. Now, I would expect an axe to do extra damage to a tree. Come on. Have I lost... Oh, that's right, I shot a, a dart into that other thing, didn't I? And you're locked as well, what a surprise. That doesn't work. Oh well, it was worth having a look for that though. Um, so we've got those two, we've covered everything else though by the looks. So now I think we can safely move on. Okay, well that was a completely worthwhile expenditure of time and, you know, precious seconds of life that we will never get back.
There had better be lockpicks for every single one of these locked chests. I will be so butthurt if they've... If you have to pick which ones you're going to go for without knowing which ones you're going to go for. And I still wish that I had not foreshadowed the, the mummy trap. Just because I'm a jerk. Okay, so heading back. Well, let's let's take a dive. There's a weed. Get back up. And back in. There is actually an achievement just for diving as well. But the hell I'm supposed to attack that thing? Because we can't actually swing our weapons underwater, I don't know what you do. Okay, so that comes back out. So what is through here? It is in fact a dungeon. Well, when in dungeons... So what do you say? Oh, I hate that thing. Okay, well that also confirms what we have waiting for us in here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I will be doing that spire last if I can help it at all. Right. Remember the gardens or fire elementals from Grimrock 1? They're ice elementals now. Complete with, I'll show you. Complete with a frost spike spell. Sorry, an ice shard spell. Okay, I would have thought that would have opened the door. Bronze brace. Resist shock, minus 20. Boy, critical chance plus 3. That really doesn't seem like a fair trade. Potion of resurrection. This early in the game, what is it telling us? Um, let's see, let's... Let's just munch up some of this raw fish. And we've got to take a dive. I do like that we can drop down though without um, crippling our everything. So he's not up there. Okay, this is a bit where we needed shit to drop on things. Now, do we have any fire bombs already? No. We'll give them to Mr. Blackwell then. Some nice sausage. Just give that to Aurelia for the moment. More just seeing what's around. Come on. I know I've already mentioned it in my in the episode of Oblivion that I just recorded. But in the Steam Workshop for Grimrock 1, there is a, a total conversion mod that basically recreates Dungeon Master. Right down to changing some of the... the changing most of the monsters. Um, and I've played a little bit of that and uploaded a bit onto the channel. Um, in fact, that should be up there already. It's uploading while I record this. Um, I... Um, never gonna say you must watch my video but check it out and I think it's worth worth um, having a playthrough I don't think I'm going to be let's playing it anytime soon but it's definitely worth having a look through if you're interested is that actually oh, it is actually a, a used sprite it's handy anyone who liked Dungeon Master though should check it out 
crap, 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 crap. There it is. Let's just quick save. Can it use ice spikes from there? Come on. Come on, prick. Come on. Oh, well, it can use it from there. So, yeah, whereas you wanted fire resistance in the first game, you want ice resistance in this one. Come on. It's 20 minutes now. I've got to move on with things. Come on, not that I'm sick of playing the game, but I do need to end the episode here. Ow, by the way. Dude, that kind of hurt. Can you come to me? Fireball, what's that? I did that! Oh, I'm not good enough yet. Oh, I need air magic. Not sure how I feel about the pelvic thrusting motion behind that spell. Okay. Come back. This prick has some hit points to him. It would also be fantastic if we could land a fucking hit. Wonder what that shield potion does. Just quick save. Oh damn it, that's why we quick save. Oh boy. Come on, I'm gonna be really annoyed if I've got a split this episode for the sake of this one elemental yay we got him finally and we have a key a round key anyway that is half an hour sorry 20 minutes so I'm going to quick save quick save and a regular save Episode 7, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you next episode. Until then, cheers.